Hi there. Hi. I'm Dr. Baker. Nice to meet you. I'm Marissa. Marissa, nice to meet you. Tell me what's going on. Um, so I woke up this morning and I just didn't feel right. Um, okay. I have like shortness of breath. Um, I had trouble breathing. Uh, so when I inhaled, it just kind of like hurt and it felt really weird. Um, and then last night, um, it kind of started then to I notice it then, but I've been under a lot of stress lately, so I thought it was just kind of like a little bit of anxiety induced. But then when I woke up this morning, I could just tell it, it this wasn't something that was anxiety. Have you had a history of anxiety? Yeah, I'm, I just, I have a rough home life growing up, so I had to uh, leave home at like the age of 18. I've been on my own since then, so I just, bills and family stuff. Did you take any medicine for your anxiety? Uh, I know I don't. I don't really get treated for it. It's just okay. kind of like I just deal with it. Just have to go from day to day. So. Okay. Do you have any lung problems like asthma or? No, I don't. That's why this is so like strange because it's. I know it's not an anxiety attack and like hurts when I breathe. I have like pain, kind of like right here on the right side of my chest, and it when I take a deep breath, it really hurts. Okay. Do you smoke cigarettes? Uh, I do. Okay. Yeah. And how much do you smoke? Um, about a pack and a half a day. I mean, it just depends on how things are going. And how old are you? I'm 25. Okay, so you still got lots of time to quit, and that's going to be on your agenda, your agenda list of things to do. And we'll talk more about that later, um, because I certainly don't want you to have any problems long term, and you're still young enough that you can definitely kick that habit. Okay. So, um, any other symptoms besides the shortness of breath and the pain right there? Um. I have a little bit of like tingling in my hands, mm -hmm. um, and I think yeah, that's mostly it that I can think of right now. Have you had a cough, sore throat, fever, congestion, no. nausea, belly pain, leg no. pain? I mean, I get headaches, headaches. Um, every once in a while, and I woke up with that today, but um, I took Imitrex and that made it go away. So you have a history of migraines? Yeah. Is it a typical migraine for you? Yeah, it was a typical, like it just started typical and then I took it and it went away, so that was nice. Okay. And this pain stayed. Do you take any other medication besides the Imitrex? No, it's, oh, I take just regular birth control. Birth control? Yeah. Okay. Any chance you could be pregnant? Or? No, I don't think so. Okay. Um, any leg pain or leg swelling? Mm, not yet, not now. Okay. Any recent travel, recent surgery? No. Any history or family history of bleeding or clotting disorders, DVT, PE? Um, is that like a, like a blood clot? I think my dad has had one of those before. Okay. Yeah. Um, does he take medicine for it, you know? Uh, I haven't talked to that side of the family in a while, so okay. I'm not entirely sure. Okay. Um, do you have any family history of heart disease at a young age? Not that I know of, no. Okay. And besides the anxiety? Smoking, do you have any other medical problems? No. No, okay. Can you think of any other symptoms that you've had that I didn't ask about? Um, no, I think it's just like just a sharp pain every time I breathe in. Okay. And yes. how, I forgot, how many days ago did you say this started? It started this morning. Okay. Worse this morning. I'm just going to talk to my scribe a little bit. She's tachycardic, rate of 110. Can you hear anything? Take a deep breath. Deep breath. Slightly diminished breath sounds on the right lung base. Go ahead and lean back. Negative Hellman sign. 
Well, I'm concerned. I think we need to check your heart and your lungs. Um, the smoking and the birth control are both risk factors for blood clots. Um, your heart rate is a little bit fast, which is also another risk factor. So I think we need to go ahead and get a CAT scan. And um, the radiologists will probably want every uh, year in pregnancy, even though you're on birth control. Sometimes people can rarely get pregnant if they... Um, if you can put in an order for a CAT scan with a PE protocol and a CDC a BMP, and um, she didn't really have any leg pain at this time, so I think we'll, we'll hold off on ultrasounds and see what the lungs show. Um, maybe we could try breathing treatment, just see if that helps, and let me know if that helps or, or not. Okay. Do you know how long these might take for the testing? Um, probably maybe two hours, I'd say. Okay. It may be a while, because we have to get the labs back a lot of times before we can get the imaging. Okay, I just need Okay, yeah. Um, and so hopefully not much longer. We'll do the best we can to do it as quickly as possible. Um, but I do think it's important. Okay. Okay.